ISTQB Foundation Level Version 273. The following decision table contains the rules for determining the risk of atherosclerosis. See figure. You design the test cases with the following test input data. Test case 1. Cholesterol equals 125 mg per deciliter. Blood pressure equals 141 mm Hg. Test case 2. Cholesterol equals 200 mg per deciliter. Blood pressure equals 201 mm Hg. Test case 3. Cholesterol equals 124 mg per deciliter. Blood pressure equals 201 mm Hg. Test case 4. Cholesterol equals 109 mg per deciliter. Blood pressure equals 200 mm Hg. Test case 5. Cholesterol equals 201 mg per deciliter. Blood pressure equals 140 mm Hg. What is the decision table coverage achieved by these test cases? A. 40 percent B. 60 percent C. 80 percent D. 100 percent Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed in changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ICQB questions on a regular basis. According to ISTQB syllabus, to achieve 100% coverage with this technique, the cases must exercise all columns. There are five columns in the decision table. Each test case covers one of them. Test case 1 and test case 2 both cover read four. Test case 3 and test case 4 both cover rule 2. Test case 5 covers rule 5. So, these 5 test cases cover 3 out of 5 columns, achieving a coverage of 3 fifths asterisk 100% equals 60%. Therefore, option B is the correct option. And answers A, C, D are wrong. My recommendation. I think that the questions on this technique are the most voluminous and complex in the entire exam and require a lot of time to solve. Remember that any question in this exam large or small in wording, has only one point towards the final score. Therefore, it is better to leave such a question for the end of the exam if you are pressed for time than taking the exam. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 4.2.3, decision table, testing, in the ISTQB syllabus. I suggest you figure out this section on your own. Maybe this question seems complicated at first glance, but after practicing with the help of my video channel ISTQB questions, 
you will quickly learn how to answer such kinds of questions and prepare for the ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam. Never give up!